Uh, I think there may have been some red herbs up. Hello! Howdy. Doof. Hey, doof. <laughs> hey, Nate. What's up, man? Uh, I don't know. Noodle? Noodle around yet? Noodle! Hello? Hello, Noodle! We are waiting for you to join the stream. Not really. Like, I mean, I imagine she'll be on, but we're not waiting for her or anything. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> oh man, how is everyone tonight? I've missed y'all. It's been like three whole days or something like that. And, uh, well, it's been too long. Needless to say, it's been too long. I miss playing games. I miss chatting with y'all. I miss talking with you guys. It was a much needed rest though, man. I have just been, like, exhausted. I have no idea what the hell's been going on with me lately. But the past, uh, like, few days, I've just been completely and totally worn out, man. Like, feel like I can hardly function worn out, you know what I mean? It's been rough, to say the least. But it's okay. We're back now. I had a couple days to rest. Uh, and we're ready to play some Vigi games, man. Specifically Rayman Arena. I know what Rayman is, but like damn near every thing we play, uh, I I don't know anything else about it beyond that, right? Like it's it's a Rayman game. Uh, <laughs> it's like I hope it's good. I think Rayman games are generally pretty decent, right? That's that's the general consensus here. But uh, I don't know, man. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Whenever we start playing here in just a minute. We're just giving everybody like a moment to, to pile on in and do all that shit, you know? You're in the same boat. There's only about four weeks left to school and you're just ready for it to be over. Oh, man. I know that feeling all too well. All too well, man. <laughs> I uh, I enjoyed college. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. No, it's... Uh, at some point, it, it definitely, you know... <laughs> Definitely okay with it uh, ending as well, for sure. Load and save settings. Yeah, I guess there's really nothing else to do. I was hoping they would have like a progressive scan mode or something like that. It just helps the video feed look a little bit cleaner, but it doesn't look like there's any sort of settings for that. So we're done. Noodle, hey! Welcome, welcome to the stream, Noodle. We were waiting for you. <laughs> uh, My mouse has been acting up recently. I need to get i don't know figure out what's going on with the uh the fucking thing and get it fixed all right new game new game we don't have a game yet so create a new save file and uh this one oh this is a wheel that we have here uh, uh da -da. i mean this is i'll take this over a standard uh stram no uh how do we go back over a standard like ABC keyboard, but like it's still a little bit weird having a wheel. This whole menu's a little bit wheel, wheel, a little bit weird with the wheel. Yes, I'm sure I want to create a new file called stream. Why are you only excited to see me on your stream? Uh, I'm excited to see you all the time. The only bad thing is I have my full on research paper now due in less than a month. Oof. Good news, my proposal for it got a 95, but the actual research paper is worth 20%, 25% of my class grade. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's pretty big. But I'm sure it's going to end up being wonderful, man. Especially if your proposal got a 95. Like, that's that's pretty good. That means you're set up for success, you know? Uh, So we have a few different characters to pick from. I, I mean, since it's called Rayman Arena... I'm assuming that means we have some sort of, like, arena gameplay we we get to do, you know? Like, uh, fighting stuff in, in, in an arena, like, waves of enemies or some shit. We have Rayman, of course, Razorbeard. I don't know the lore for Rayman, I'm sorry, so, like, <laughs> I have no idea who any of these characters are or what any of this is. Globox, uh, Henchman 800, and Teensies. Awesome, cool. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just start with Rayman first, of course, and then go from there. Never greet me like that any other time. You just call me a beach and tell me I need a nap. You do need a nap, though. Like, <laughs> let's be honest here, love. 
you do need a nap. I could use a nap. Honestly, probably everyone could use a nap. Like, it is, but I appreciate the confidence, guys. Other than that, I'm feeling hella good. How are you guys? How is everyone, man? I'm, I feel a lot better today than I have, or this afternoon at least, than I have recently. But, uh, yeah, I'm still pretty, pretty tired, I'll be honest. I'm pretty excited about that new, uh, YouTube channel and stuff, though, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, little, little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, <laughs> first ruins. Okay, so I'm assuming we should just play from, like, left to right. Battle modes, race modes. So the, the yellow ones are races and the, the orange ones are battles. Let's just do first ruins, I guess, right? It has first literally in the name. That seems like, uh, seems like a good choice. We got training, race. Finish the race before the timer reaches zero. You get extra time by shooting the butterflies. Popo Lopoe. And then <laughs> lums. Catch all the lums and finish the race in first position. Maybe we'll just try uh, training so we can figure out what the hell we're doing. Because I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm confused as all hell. I have no idea what's going on right now. At all. Link it, bitch. Not yet, man. I gotta wait. Gotta wait. I'm gonna end up linking it. Uh, of course. But like, uh... Uh... Sorry, I have no idea what we're doing here. Can we jump? Okay, we can jump. What's the... Oh, so if we like... Okay. So if we hit triangle when we land... We do, like, a little bit of a dodge roll, and that makes us go a little bit faster, I'm assuming. What? 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 I'm so confused, man. I have no idea what we're doing. Oh, we can climb the, the wall? Okay. Cool. Very cool. And then... Is it better just to mash it, I wonder? Or is it better to, like, hit it slowly? What is this? I don't know what that wrench the, the, the button wrench i don't know why i called it a wrench <laughs> the game is like very eerily quiet record lap that was a terrible lap game i'm assuming we should just hit the button as quickly as possible it seems like uh this is supposed to be like training or whatever it's not giving us very good hints on like what the hell we're supposed to be doing I'm assuming the whole uh, triangle thing, like I said, just helps us go faster, like reacting to things. But like, it's not like really giving us much hints. And the, the level doesn't seem to be laid out particularly well for it. Right? Like uh, it, whenever it first started popping up after we were jumping, for instance. Oh. Uh, there was, like, no room to, to do the roll or anything like that. We would just, uh, hit the fucking, the walls. Link it, bitch. Hey, good on you, Nate. Noodle honey, you know you just need to ignore him. You'll be good after spending some time with me. Uh, are you two hooking up? I mean, I'm not against it. I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, but, uh... I don't know. I feel like I should know about it. <laughs> Where the hell is the music? It's creepy without it. Yeah, I have it turned on. Like, I have the audio turned on for the game. We can hear, like, the, the jumps and things. Or at least I can. I'm assuming y'all can as well. But, uh, yeah, you can't really, like... There's not a whole lot of sound going on here, huh? It's kind of quiet. A little eerily quiet. Let's get out of the, uh... Let's get out of the practice mode. We at least have some idea what the hell we're doing now. So we can try one of the real modes. But anyways, as far as the YouTube channel goes, the, the one that's coming, lied a little bit. It's not going to be just a YouTube channel. I'm actually going to start up a couple different social media accounts and uh, actually use them. My goal is to update them at least three times a week. At least, maybe more than that. We'll see how it goes. Um... I'm not going to tell y'all what it's going to have on it. I'm not even going to tell y'all the name of the, the channel yet. The the social media accounts are just going to be like general use social media accounts. Uh, but the YouTube channel is the main one. Uh, but I will tell you, it has an acronym. 
right? So, like, I'm not going to tell you the full title. That's giving it away a little bit too much, a little bit too early. But its acronym, are you ready for this? It's Childish, and I love it. The acronym for the channel is TITS. T-I-T-S. TITS. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> hope y'all are excited for tits because I know I am. <laughs> My boyfriend, everyone. That's right. That's me. I'm her boyfriend, everyone. <laughs> uh, why are we frozen? I didn't realize... I didn't realize there were, like, power-ups that we could use. Also, man, we are... We are trash time in stream do you not know how to use uptime Nate I mean now you know you just do uh, exclamation point uptime and it'll tell us exactly how long we've been in stream for or how long the stream's been been going we are five seconds behind we are playing like trash so like it's got the whole Mario Kart thing with, like, the reactions when you land and shit like that, but it seems much more situational on when it's actually useful. I don't know. That was a record lap, and we're, like, still behind everyone else. Cause, like, you can't really do the rolls and shit here, like... Oh, time in the stream. Ah, uh, that's, a, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. But, nope. Not, not that one, though. It's a good guess, though, honestly. That's pretty good, man. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> I have no idea what that little, like, bug-looking button thing does. I don't know if that's something we should be pressing. I'm assuming it, like, will hamper everyone else somehow, right? Like, there's got to be some sort of reason to be pressing them. I guess we should probably try to hit the fucking boost pads. That would definitely be helpful. Uh, final lap, so we really need to hurry the hell up. Ah, fuck you. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Is it too late to clip that? Technically, no. I don't know if it'll be, like, how easy it'll be to clip. I don't know if going on the top or the bottom's faster. I'm assuming going this top route's faster. But I don't actually know. This is purely guessing. All right, we're in third place. We caught up a little bit. We might have to restart the first fucking race. Which is a little bit sad, but... Oh, no, 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 no. We got it. We fucking got it, dude. <laughs> I don't know how the hell we won that one. We definitely shouldn't have won that. That was terrible. That was terrible. But anyways, so yeah. The, the YouTube channel that is actually going to be updated and used, I promise, is going to be named Tits. Um, it'll have a full name too, of course, but, uh, but that's, that's the acronym for it. And, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll probably be proudly displayed on the page. Uh, in the beginning, the page is going to be, the channel is going to be relatively bare. I might make some sort of header image or something as like a placeholder, but, um, yeah. And then, uh, before I actually link it, I plan on having at least a couple videos up um on there for everybody to enjoy and yeah man like i said i'll be launching a couple other social medias to go along with it as kind of like you know just getting everything set up so the social medias will be kind of kind of general purpose sort of stuff right um it'll definitely have the the new shit on it wait why can't we rent why can't we play this one can we... I guess we can only do the ones with the blue things on them? Huh. Anyways, uh, the, the social media stuff will be general purpose. It will have the, the links and stuff for YouTube, of course, on them. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. I'll tell you more about it later, like in a week or two. And then, uh, I'll, I'll launch it shortly thereafter, hopefully. Hopefully. Only other guess you have is time in the station, bro. We're doing a uh, a train vlog, okay? We're gonna be we're gonna be riding trains and and showing it in stream and on YouTube. I'm now a train vlogger, and uh, <laughs> how did I get frozen? I didn't see nobody fucking trying to freeze me. So wait a second, that makes us slow the green shit. So really, 
We should probably be trying to avoid it. How? Who the fuck keeps freezing me? Wait. Can we go up? What's everyone else doing? Oh, they're coming up too. Why'd they go around to the back? Is that faster? You would think going up the front. Uh, seriously, how do I keep getting frozen? I don't see who's freezing me here. All I know is it keeps randomly fucking happening, man. It's weird. Oh, we're trying to avoid hitting the shit up, I, I imagine. It's same here, same here, because we actually go faster sliding down than we do hitting those jump pads. We probably want to avoid those as much as possible. Ah, fuck. Get up. Jump. Jump, you bastard. What are you doing? This idiot tries steam. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, no. No. I, uh, I can see why you would think that, though. I am a bit of an idiot. And I have been known to try, try steam games, man. That seems reasonable. Ah, seriously, fuck y'all. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I feel like we should be able to do something with that. I'm, I'm perfectly willing. Oh, we like automatically jump off the top of that. That's weird. I'm willing to lose this race a little bit if I could just figure out what the hell that is. But I can't seem to collect it. Like, did I not touch it there? It looks like I fucking touched it. We're gonna go ahead and restart the level, though, because, yeah. Shortened PlayStation, what I was thinking. Oh, that's good, Nate. That's good. Oh, oh, not train station. Like, PlayStation station. That makes sense. But no, definitely not. Definitely not. Good, good thought, but nope. Nope. That's not it. Honestly, like, none of y'all have even been close. <laughs> That's right, there's only, I think, two people in the world that know what it is right now, so... Like, don't feel bad, guys. <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually, though. I'm gonna share it with y'all. Or I'll just turn it into an ARG and not let you guys, uh... have links to the channel until you figure out what it stands for. Okay, so jumping down there was definitely actually slower. So we don't want to do that if we don't have to. Okay. I kind of get stuck on people here, too. How was that not hitting him? Uh, fuck you! Oh, so as long as we're stunned by that or whatever, we can't jump. So we have to, like, shoot it to stop it from stunning us. That's actually really good to know. No, oh, you fucking people. How do you like being frozen, huh? Get quad. Time is totally sane. It's my fucking, uh, uh, it's my channel based around, you know, weird, weird thoughts on things. Like, how can time be real if our eyes aren't real? That sort of shit. That's, uh, you fucking bastard. <laughs> oh, I definitely think it would have been faster to go left, huh? Or right, I mean, the way we were going before. Although, I don't know, we're making pretty good time going this way. I don't know which way's actually fastest. I have no clue. That did not feel very fast, though. I'll say that much. Oh, 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 oh. And we got fucked. Okay. <laughs> this idiot time shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. No, no. Like I said, none of y'all have been that close yet. Uh, like, at all. I mean, to be honest, it would be kind of pointless to find it right now anyways, because other than reserving the name of the channel, I haven't done anything with it yet, because, like... Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I still need to make, like, some sort of header image or something for it, at the very least. And then, uh... And then, uh... Oh, fuck. Go to this way. Go this way. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Is that really what the channel was going to be about? No. We had trains on the mind. Or he's had trains on the mind for a couple weeks. I have, man. I really want to go on a train trip. I want to go on a big train trip. Like, 
across the country or some shit, but like, not yet. Honestly, guys, there's like no point in even finding it yet because I haven't gotten any, uh, any content up yet on it. So like, there's not even much of a point in, in, in finding it right now. But like, don't worry, y'all are definitely going to be the first people to know about it <laughs> whenever it comes out. Who else am I going to tell? Alright, second place. That's not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. What's the first word? Just one hit. Guys, even if you found the channel, what are you going to do? There's nothing to watch there yet. <laughs> you just want to know the words that made this acronym? You'll figure it out soon. I just want to know the title. I don't care right now about searching it. Y'all are going to know the title soon enough. I promise. I promise. Uh, I mean, do we have to get first? Can increase your speed by jumping. Well, no shit. Uh, uh, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. We'll try to get first place. He always has tits on the mind too, so that's why he did it. Honestly, that was just like happy coincidence that, uh, that the acronym worked out to be tits. Now, like, I do think there would be other options that would roll off the tongue a little bit better um, for the name, but they don't have nice acronyms, you know? <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it at tits, man. Yo, these dudes are dumb. Going, uh, going the way I went is definitely faster. It's gotta be fast. Oh, uh, shit! Okay, well, it's definitely faster until you fucking fall. Fucking fall twice! God, I just thought of a horrible one. Why? Well, I promise you it's probably not that. Probably. <laughs> but, like, I'm curious on what, what it is that you just came up with. <laughs> what? How did they fucking froze each other? I'm I'm really curious now. You have to tell us all what this uh what this horrible one is. Tits initially take semen. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely not that one. It's not. It's definitely not that one. For me, it depends, right? Like if we're talking about clothed, yeah, to a clothed ass is better than than a clothed pair of tits for sure. Um, but if we're talking naked, then I personally think a naked pair of tits, generally speaking, looks better than a naked ass. But of course, it depends a lot of the person too, right? Some people have exceptional asses. Other people have exceptional tits. Like, it really just depends, man. Oh, get wrecked, noobs. Stop. Oh fucking missed the pad. Excellent job, me. After just calling them noobs, too. And jump, and jump, and jump. Who you be looking at? You, Noodle. I be looking at you all the time. I told you it was horrible. It is kind of horrible, but also hilarious, so yeah. Can we do, like, variable jump height? based on whether we, we just press or whether we hold. I don't know. It feels like it might be the same jump height no matter what. Although it's definitely like we have the glide thing, but the glide feels slow as all hell. I feel like the levels were laid out in a way just to piss you off. Like, <laughs> like they feel like the jumps are always have like some sort of obstacle right after them. So that you can't do the, the roll thing to, to pick up extra speed. Or, uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I keep trying to... Not trying to glide. I keep, uh, like, double pressing X because I'm an idiot. Stop fucking hitting me, you bitch! Oh my god, if we end up losing now... I'm so mad! <laughs> Bro, we were fucking there and I hit the button! I hit the button to stun him, and it just... Uh, last time. Last time I'm fucking playing this level. <laughs> Personally, like a great ass either way. Oh, I mean, of course. Of course. Always appreciate a great ass. But... But, uh... Yeah, still. 
depending on the person. I think one or the other can be can be better. I like I like both, man. I'm uh, I'm into everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe there is variable jump height, and I'm just an idiot. It's really hard to tell. Some of the uh, voice clip sound effects that they're using are a little bit weird. Are you going to use the Tiki Talks? That is one of the socials that I'm going to be setting up, yes. I'm going to set up a TikTok along with the, uh, around the, well, I'm gonna launch the TikTok around the same time that I launched the YouTube, uh, the new channel. But like I said, the other social medias that aren't the Yub Tubs are, are just general purpose things. Um, that one didn't hit us. I fucking hit him. Anyways, uh, the channel, though, is going to be specific because, like, on TikTok, I'm not 100% sure how TikTok works because I'm no, I'm no TikTok expert or anything like that. But on TikTok, I'm pretty sure you can have mixed content on a channel and your channel still do well, right? Same with, like, uh, most other social media platforms, but YouTube pretty much punishes you. If you have more than one kind of content on a channel, that's why I have the VOD channel that gets updated every now and then. And then the main channel that hasn't been updated in fucking forever. But, uh, you know, hopefully will be updated someday again. Um, and then this new channel because they all have their own unique kind of content on them. Um, so that's, that's like, that's why there's a, a specific YouTube channel being made. But... Yeah, for the most part, though, the TikTok and the other uh, page that I haven't mentioned yet are going to be just whatever the hell I feel like having on there. I mean, you like some pretty buff masculine women or some cute-ass emo girls. Either way, the ass is more prevalent in those. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, see, me being, you know, a, a cis dude... I, uh, I more or less just like femininity, I guess, you know? Um, so, any sort of curves, tits, nice ass, whatever, I appreciate. Noodle is the expert on TikTok. I mean, she watches enough of it. <laughs> I don't know how well she, she knows, uh, about, like, running one, but she definitely fucking watches enough to, to be an expert, that's for sure. I don't know about expert hob, but I do spend an embarrassing amount of time on there. That's, yeah, she's not lying. <laughs> you need one for playthroughs and one for random blogs? Yes, yes, you actually should. Like, no joke, Nate. If you decide to start up some YouTube channels, you should definitely do that. Like, you should have one specifically for, like, vlogs and things like that. One specifically for... Uh, gameplay and if you fall into a gameplay niche but then you want to play other sorts of games on youtube you should start a whole new channel for those other games as ridiculous as that is the best way to grow and maintain an audience on youtube is pick one specific niche and do nothing but that on that channel for the rest of your life which fucking sucks like if you think about it right because like who wants to play one single game for the rest of their life i mean if you're getting paid good money for it then i'm sure that's you know there's definitely worse ways to make money but uh yeah like all the minecraft youtubers and whatnot that's why 99 percent of the content they put on their channel is just minecraft because otherwise they they'll start losing views and start losing money and shit like that like sick thighs save lives very true very true your for you page is so weird. We can all agree on thick thighs. Yes, yes we can. Is that why Jardon has so many? Yes, that is why Jardon has so many. He has one for his Minecraft shit, of course. He has one for like longer form Minecraft sh shit. Then he has like his personal like vlogging channel and whatnot. Uh, he has one for like random games and, and Fortnite and whatnot. Uh, the, the Reddit one that he has, like yeah. He has a million fucking channels and that's exactly why. Because if you want any of them to work, you got to split it up. It's the same reason why, like, uh, uh, the film theorist and, and uh, game theory and food theory are all on separate channels too, right? Because they only release a video once every few days. If they wanted to, they could just release a video every day and have each day dedicated to a certain, a certain topic or whatever. 
But the fact of the matter is the YouTube algorithm is unkind to people that do that, that mix content on one channel. So if you're if you're trying to make money off of it um, and and grow, to, you know, to a large size or whatever, you basically have to have a, a bunch of different channels with different content, uh, like specific to each one. Which is stupid, but it is the way it is, I suppose. So hence the new YouTube channel. Um, the main channel will always be for, like, the, the normal gameplay stuff that is edited to some degree. Um, and then I'll always have, like, the regular VOD channel for that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I wanted to make another one for something specific to that one. That box, like, every time we touched it, it counted down a little bit. What does that do? <laughs> Like, what, do we break that box if we're the last one to hit it? Do we get a power-up or something? Um, this one's not gonna go well. I feel like everybody's kind of touching that box. So I feel like I should be touching that box, but I don't know if I really... Fuck you! I don't know, like, what it does. I don't know how I feel about Rayman ra racing, to be honest. Like... This is not what I expected. I thought it was going to be like an arena fighter game. <laughs> I mean, I guess it still could be. We haven't uh, we haven't really tried the other game mode yet. It could be different. But right now, I'm a little... Uh, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, I'm just going to skip that because I don't really know if it's worth... Collecting it or whatever or hitting it to try and collect it. Although, couldn't we have gone over top of this? That probably would have been smart, at least. It's so cold in this house, is it, though? I don't know. It feels pretty decent up here in the bedroom. Aw, oh, you bastards. Go, 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 go. Oh, brother, like, catching up. Uh, go, go, go. Please go. I feel like I just want to keep running. And they're like, you can't. You have to slow down at points. You can't just keep going nonstop. Going up would probably be faster. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. Like, I have no idea. But it seems like it wants you to follow that bottom path. So, therefore, I imagine that not following that bottom path would probably be quicker. Are we getting less hints now than we were before? Oh. That's what we... Oh, I fucking missed it. That's how we would want to go. That was a shortcut right there, man. You're probably cuddling with Gary to keep warm. Is Gary even up here? I can't really look behind me right now. I'm a little uh, in the game at the moment. Oh, you bastards. They put that gate up at like just the right fucking time to stop me from progressing. Oh, fucking go, dude. Let's go. You don't see him down here? He might be up here. I'm not sure. Jump, you bastard. Go for it. Let's go. Just keep fucking mashing triangle. That's all you need to do, man. Mash triangle, automatically win. Easy every time. You're going under the sink. Wish me luck. <laughs> Oh, Noodle. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. I think you'll make it. But anyways, guys. Yeah, so that's that's all I really had. Like I said, I just wanted to tease you a bit more about it. Um, I want to have it ready by next week. Around Wednesday of next week is when I want to have the channel ready. But I feel like it'll probably be more realistic to, to say two weeks. Because I would like to get at least a header image, um, a profile picture of some sort. It'll probably be like basic stuff, like what I have for my my thing now, um, to be honest. And then, uh, and then uh, a, at least one or two videos up on it before I before I, I release it to the world. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, I hope you're excited for it. I'll, uh, next week, whether it's out or not, I will uh, tell you at least what kind of content it's going to be. Again, I probably won't give you the title of the, the channel because then you'd be able to find it before it's ready. Um, of course, if you do, that's not the end of the world or anything, but trying to keep it, trying to keep it reasonable, you know, locked down a little bit. Gotta, gotta build the hype somehow. Oh, speaking of hype, guys, let me show you a little something, something. It's not done yet. It still has a little bit more work to be done before, before I'm ready to call it. Uh, but there is this, which is almost ready to go. It's not done yet. There's a couple more tweaks that I'm asking for before I uh, before I finalize it and upload it. But this here, um, one sec, one sec. Just gotta pull this up. Show an image. Uh, create new. And then browse. And where, where did I save it at? There it is. Right there. There he is up in the corner. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, like he's really blurry because like, you know, I'm blowing it up real big. He'll actually like normally be like that small, you know? But like there's, there's, like I said, there is all, there's more. There's a couple changes that I still want done before, before it's uploaded and finished. But uh, this is going to be the next emote that comes out. It'll be coming out hopefully by the end of next week as well, around the time that the, the channel I'm trying to get released. Um, but yeah, yeah, the little hype bro. So instead of what we have right now, which is, you know, this one, instead of that, we'll be replacing it with, with this one, hopefully. Uh, that was WTF, not hype. Uh, my bad. Where is the, the hype one? <laughs> uh, I guess that is the hype one. It, it just says WTF. Whatever. You get the point. <laughs> so yeah. That uh, that should be coming soon, hopefully, within the next week or so. And then uh, and then we'll, we'll upload that so that you guys can use it both here and, of course, on whatever other channels that you're using as long as you're subscribed. Collect as many lumps as you can. Freeze the opponents by shooting them with ice bullets. Okay. Cleaning under it and you're scared of possible bugs. I don't think it'll be bad. It's not like... Like, we don't have roaches or anything in the house. Worst case scenario... I mean, which for noodles is terrible. Worst case scenario, there could be some, like, uh... Some, uh... Like, little pill bugs or whatever you call them, wherever you guys are from. Some pill bugs or maybe, uh... Uh, spiders or, or something like that, right? Like, there could be that, which, I mean, for Noodle, that might as well be a cockroach or some shit. But, like, <laughs> like it's not the end of the world, you know? You were thinking gnats and such, man? Yeah, I mean, we don't have any of that right now in the house. I mean, we get gnats sometimes, of course. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody does. But, uh, oh, you bastard. Oh, no, you don't. Stop shooting me and just go try to collect it yourself, man. You are, like, way closer than me to it. If, he could have totally gotten that one if he wasn't so worried about trying to fuck me over. Are you done? Are you done? Oh, we got it. We got it. But, yeah, like, uh, you know, centipede, spider, shit like that, which, again, pretty much every house has, I believe. Well, that was relatively easy. That's not as bad as I thought on the bugs, but fuck spider. May they burn in the eternal abyss. <laughs> I like spiders, man. Obviously, like, I don't want poisonous spiders on me or all over my house or anything like that. But, uh, like, little jumping spiders and shit like that I actually think are pretty cute. Centipedes, yeah. Noodle is scared to death of, like, millipedes and centipedes and shit like that. Especially the big ones. She fucking hates them, man. <laughs> So like, I don't know, this game is okay so far. So far, I, It's not what I expected. I guess it is probably meant to be a bit more of like a party game, right? Like something you would play with friends in, in multiplayer mode or whatever. But like, yeah. What is wrong with you that you like spiders and fuck those two? 
Spiders are cool, man. And they eat all the bugs that you don't want in your house, you know? Like, they eat cockroaches. They eat flies. They eat gnats. They eat everything else. Same with, like, the, the house centipedes. Those dudes will eat, like, any other bug, man. Anything that they can get their hands on bug-wise, they'll just fucking devour it, which is dope as hell. Like, centip house centipedes are not fucking around, man. No, you don't, you bastard. Mine. <laughs> yeah, fuck you and everything you stand for, you piece of shit. Dude, we're already, like, three ahead. This dude don't stand a fucking chance. Okay, well, we fucking froze each other. Good job, us. Oh, he got one. He got one, man. He's making his comeback. How are you just gonna freeze me in midair like that? Fuck off. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you bastard. Ha! He can't get any until I get my cat. He wants them for pets. Yeah, the little dancing jumping spiders, man. Jumping spiders are cool as hell. They're cute. They act like little dogs or cats, which is really neat, you know? Like, they, they dance around, and they hide when they're scared, and... They're just really cool. I like them. Especially, like I said, little jumping spiders. And generally speaking, jumping spiders aren't um, harmful to humans, which is really nice, you know? If you, if you want to have them as pets and play with them and shit. That's what lizards are for? I mean, yeah, lizards can do that too, but... And I got nothing against lizards. Teeth? I agree. Teeth. <laughs> I don't know what T stands for, but, uh, T. T I T S. Tits. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's nothing, like, amazing. I don't want to get you guys, like, too hyped for it, right? Like, don't expect it to be, uh, some mind blowing thing or anything like that. But it's going to be a simple, fun uh, little channel. And, uh, I mean, just being more active on, on social medias in, in general, I think will be good. Uh, speaking of, I do have a Twitter as well. I almost never use it, but that's another one that I plan on trying to uh, put a little bit more time into and, and, and using to go along with these other endeavors. Wait, where? Oh, it's literally right there. Okay, I feel like I was cheating, man. Like, it basically just gave me all of those ones for free. What? I fucking ran into that. There's no way he, like, fucking planned that, dude. You fucking bastard. Get the fuck away from me, like. You kidding me? Besides Discord, the only other one you have is Instagram in case Discord goes down. Yeah, I'm not really much of a social media person either. That's why, like, I don't really update that much or do anything with them that much. But, like, as as somebody that's trying to do stuff on the internet, and, uh, I mean, as a hobby, yeah, but would love to someday be able to do this sort of stuff as a job, it, uh, makes sense that I start using a little bit more social media than uh, just streaming to Twitch and then once in a blue moon updating YouTube. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh. Nope, super hype, but expecting a cyberpunk level letdown. Uh, basically, yeah, that's what I'm trying to pull off here, man. I want everyone to uh, like expect it to be the greatest shit since sliced bread, and then it's going to be fucking not. It's going to be a loaf of bread. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, so, like, what's these other ones, right? We got Lum Spring, Lum Fight, Capture the Fly. Take weapons from the generators and shoot the opponents. Each time you reduce one to zero hit points, you gain one Lum. To target lock your opponent, look at him and keep L2 or R2 pressed. Shouldn't say them? Is everybody in this game male? I don't... I don't know, man. Just seems like a weird choice of words. Alright, so L2. Uh wait, where is everybody? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see. What the fuck was that? 
Uh, why do I have like a bomb? Did I pass off the bomb? I did not. <laughs> I don't know, like I have no idea what the hell any of these weapons do or what I'm doing. I'm just shooting things and hoping for the best. Is he dead? Does that mean another one spawning? It is. Okay. So every time like someone dies, another one spawns? Is that the way it works then? Is there a way to like swap weapons or do we only get whichever one we have? Who am I locking on to, man? He's right there. Lock onto him, not the fucking wall. That wall ain't gonna do shit for me. Oh, he's got a fucking the fly. <laughs> Wait, do I not have a, an ability right now? I thought I picked one up. Go away, you fly. <laughs> uh, what is this? Some sort of laser thing? Sure. Just shoot it. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> oh, no. Don't restart the level. Back to the level selection. Yeah. Hopefully that keeps our win that we got for the first round. This definitely seems like it was meant to be a party game. Not something that you would play through on your own, you know? Which kind of sucks. I was hoping for, for something a little more exciting. I've never played a Rayman game, but I, I know of them. And, like, I've heard good things. They look like fun. At least all the platforming ones. The, the platforming adventure games. So I was hoping for something more along those lines. And now I'm a little let down. Not gonna lie. Let's try the Popolopoi. Po -lo Popolopoi. <laughs> the Popolopoi. I'm probably fucking butchering that, but I have no idea how they speak on uh, Rayman. Oh, I still love Hype Law, man. We need to do another Hype Train sometime just to get more, uh, more fucking... Wait, why didn't I get the... Do I have to shoot them? I have to shoot them. Okay, so I need to shoot 30 of them as quickly as possible. Or does that reduce our time? No, it gives us time. Okay. Okay, so do we just try to take the quickest path possible? Or do we... Do we just try to, like, hit as many fucking butterflies as possible? I don't know if I've ever talked about this on stream, but I fucking love butterflies, dude. I think butterflies are dope as hell. Speaking of bugs, you know what I mean? I don't know how everyone else feels about them, but I think they're pretty fucking cool. Do we have to kill all of them? I'm honestly confused on this, like... What are we trying to do right now? What is the goal? I should have read a little bit better <laughs> before we started the fucking round here. They are majestic beasts? Yes. Yes, they are. I'm assuming we have to kill them all. Or, or hit them all or whatever. But I'm not sure. Oh, no, I just missed that. No, it can't be because these ones respawn. Or I guess, like, it could still be destroy them all as quickly as possible. But maybe it respawns them in case, like, there's a couple that you don't find or whatever. So, like, respawns specific ones or something. I don't fucking know. I'm just making shit up, man. We're running out of time. Ah, uh, bruh, this is a hell of a shortcut. Does that stay unlocked after we unlock it once? Because if we do, that's fucking good, man. Okay, so you had to just finish the race, I guess. Yeah. So just finish the race without running out of time. And the butterflies just give you more time. Sure, why not, man? I don't fucking know. We need to play this multiplayer. I think that would be a lot more fun. A lot more fun than what we got going on right now.
You have won the first ruins level in the 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 popolopi thing. Popolopoi. Cool. Thanks, game. You're in. I wish there was a way to like network play the PS2. I mean, there are like a couple of PS2 games, obviously, that you can network play, but there's not that many of them. And even then, the ones you can are like, you know, only a couple. <laughs> That, like, are... St there's only a couple games that you actually can network play, and even then, there's probably less that, like, still work to this day. Or are worth playing. Stream has been live for 55 minutes, 11 seconds. So what you're saying is it's probably time for a break. Which, uh, honestly, sounds pretty decent. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, guys. We're gonna switch over and take a quick ad break. Just so we can get the pesky pre-roll ads out of the way. And, uh, everyone can stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that good shit. We'll be right back in, like, uh, I don't know, three to five minutes, guys. Because we actually, we had to play through the Carlo section twice because I fucking suck. I used up all the ammo and uh, we, we, we died. So, like, we had to play through it again. But I could have swore the first time I went through the Carlo stuff, I had more red herbs that I had picked up. And I haven't seen them since. So the only thing I can think of is that these uh, dogs that I apparently forgot to equip something for ammo too hold on hold on fucking dogs fire dogs uh are you are you are you can you just stay down please please stay okay that one's done ah no jill jill shoot it <laughs> Shoot it, Joe. How much ammo do we have left? Zero. Okay. Glad I checked, because, uh, yeah. Although, that sucks that we're not going to have to waste some shotgun ammo on something that was probably just about dead. But, uh, you know what? Better than dying. That's for sure. Okay, no. No red ammo out here. So, that was kind of a, a massive waste of ammo. Man, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Maybe I didn't actually pick up more red herbs than I just thought I did or something. I don't know, man. I could have swore that I had some that I was carrying around with Carlos. We had the green herb. We just dropped those off with him, which I'm kind of wishing we would have left now, but it's like it's too late now, you know? Uh, I'm just going to carry around the other, the other ammo, the handgun ammo, at least for now. We can always like drop it off later or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever. It feels like it's mostly useless at this point, the handgun, but for little situations where there's just one or two zombies or, uh, like, those dogs there or whatever, it's kind of nice to, to have it so we don't have to waste our shotgun ammo since that's where the majority of our actual, you know, power, our, our stopping power, ability to kill things comes from. Um, I'm kind of surprised he's not in here. Wait a second. Am I blind? Where's the door? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I was looking all over the fucking place for this door, and it's literally right in front of me, dude. Like, you just had to take another three steps forward, and the door would show itself to you. Basically touching it. Did we kill everything in here? I think so. Either we killed everything, or it just doesn't spawn with Jill. It only spawns with Carlos. That's a maybe. One of the neat things about this game seems to be how it doesn't always spawn the same things in the same areas and whatnot like it, it has a little bit of variance which is pretty cool i really do like that about this game i think i prefer that over having two entirely different characters to play through because when there's two entirely different characters to play through i feel like i have to play through the game twice you know but whenever it's just the one character but a little bit different can you shoot the dude please uh, oh, he's actually dead. Uh, uh, Jill? Shoot the one right behind you! <laughs> I was actually kind of trying to shoot the barrel, but, uh, that didn't work. That's okay, though. We can, we can equip... Not that, you dumbass. Equip the handgun. You already had the other one equipped. And then maybe you can shoot the barrel? There you go. That should kill him. Alright, how do we get through here, though? It's locked with a simple lock. Oh, so we probably need the lock pick. Okay, well, at least the, the loading zone's not too far away. Hey, Rue! Glad you can make him in. The main gate of Raccoon Park. It's locked. Okay. 
Simple lock, so we just need the lock pick. Got it. Just gotta run back a couple screens. Hopefully don't get fucked by Nemesis in the meantime. I mean, he's got them tentacles now, which is kind of nice and all, but like, mm, I don't know. He's a little too rough, even for my taste. Uh, Lord. Oh, boy. Hello! Howdy, everyone. I'm back. BRB, guys, I have to go change a light bulb. No problem, room. I doubt you can hear me right now, but, uh... <laughs> if you can somehow, then, uh, no worries, man. Take your time. I don't think you're going to miss anything important anyways. T-B-H. It's just us fucking around in this game that seems to have been made for more than one person. Um while I play it alone, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, other shit. Other shit that uh, we want to do soon and, and plan on doing soon. Um, the community day, of course. So, let's see. This, this Wednesday, Noodle and I are having a date day together, so I'll be gone all day Wednesday. We won't be able to do it then. But we try to do a community day... I, usually the first Wednesday of every month and since we can't this month I think what we're going to do instead is do a uh, do it on either on Saturday if Rue's okay with that I don't want to uh, I don't want to to miss the Odin Sphere one and have Rue uh, get upset about it so if we can't do it that Wednesday then maybe the Wednesday after Noodle and I do have a uh the uh the person we rent from has to get their license renewed on wednesday not this coming but the one after so like it'll be a little weird like what time i don't know exactly when we'll be able to do it but uh or we could do it then so it'll either be one wednesday late or it'll be um or it'll have to be on saturday when we would be normally be playing Odin's Sphere, one or the other. So whatever's whatever's better for you guys, it's good for me. And as far as what games we'll be playing for the community day, since y'all have just been awesome with uh oh shit, okay, uh so we can swing on that thing by pressing X apparently. Um, uh okay, that's a thing. Uh, also we can like get up there. It looks like if we happen to be on one of those switches whenever someone hits it. Anyways, uh, so yeah, so whichever, whichever's better for you guys, right? I'm, I'm fine with either one. Just, uh, just let me know what works for y'all, and that's what we will, that's what we will do. I think, uh, I think either would be, would be a lot of fun. As far as games that we plan on playing, though, since Twitch doesn't seem to like us playing Cards Against Humanity, and, uh... And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate a little bit. And Kahoot, technically, you have to pay for it to play. I think we're going to try GeoGuessr. It's something that we'll definitely all be, be playing because it, it's free, right? And it's something that we can definitely play on stream. So I think we'll try out GeoGuessr. That should be fun. Uh, we're going to fucking lose. Holy shit, that sucks. Uh, and I don't know. Does anybody else have, have ideas for, like, free online games that we can all play together right because like i can think of a lot of games to play right i i think doing some golf with your friends would be a lot of fun um right i think that would be pretty fucking sick but golf with your friends it's not an expensive game but it is a, a game that you had to pay for um and then there's Oh, man, I had another one in mind. Oh, Worms. Worms is a lot of fun. And, uh... And relatively cheap. That's another one that we could do. So I just had to figure out what, what works for everyone, I guess. And, uh, yeah, if anybody has any ideas for games, though, I'm totally down to hear what y'all got. So GeoGuessr will definitely be on the list because it's free. Everyone can can play it without without paying anything. All you need is a web browser to do so. So yeah, like that one, that one's definitely gonna end up being on the list. But 
I don't know what else y'all would like to do. Let me know. Let me know. Put it in the comments below. No. <laughs> Bruh, this is so much fucking better than what we were doing before. <clears throat> oh shit, I'm... I'm dying. I'm choking up, man. <laughs> you're off Saturday. But you have the show you're going to with late. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your drag show that you're doing on. Is that on Saturday? I didn't actually realize that was on Saturday, love. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, of course. Go have fun with, uh, go have fun with Leighton. Enjoy your drag show. I know how long you've been wanting to go and watch one of them, so. Don't miss that for me, love. Not, not at all. You'll see what you can find online-wise, Nate. I appreciate that. Honestly, I do, man. Thank you. You'd buy it anyways, Rue? Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to, like, pick up games, like, cheaper games, like, like Golf With Your Friends or whatever, then, like, I'm, I'm totally down to play them. Like I said, Golf With Your Friends, I think, is a lot of fun. It's relatively cheap, but, like, I probably picked it up on sale. I'm not sure how much it costs at the moment. Um, and I don't want anyone breaking the bank just to play, you know, games with me for, for an afternoon. Uh, Worms, I'm, I'm pretty sure Worms is super cheap. Or at least you can get it for super cheap. I don't know what its normal price is or whatever. Uh, I'm hoping there will be like more butterflies back here. Yes. Okay, that that probably helped. I'm assuming <laughs> getting that that orange one will help us out here a little bit. Getting the butterflies on this spiral thing here. It's a little awkward sometimes, man. Like sometimes my missiles or whatever the fuck you want to call them just hit the fucking Oh. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> Just, oh my lord. This is so bad. No, hit the thing! That was literally... Oh, bruh. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I missed a couple messages. Uh, light bulb. Community day can trumpet over this once. Dope. Um, off Saturday. See what else I can scrounge up. See what I can find. Buy it anyways. Any chance any of you guys have Phasmophobia or Dead by Daylight? I do, actually. I have both those games. But, um, I'm not a huge Dead by Daylight fan, I'll be honest. But Phasmophobia is a lot of fun. And that's what? Four people or three? Three? I think the most I've ever played it with is three. But I think four, right? You can do four people at a time. You encounter no bugs. See, I told you it would be fine. I want to under the bathroom sink. We could play Yahtzee. Yahtzee does sound like a pretty good idea. Um, is there a free client or is that something we'd have to buy? I have Monopoly. We could do Monopoly. I feel like that one would be kind of fun. And uh, you can do like, what, up to eight players or something? The only problem with Monopoly is that um, it can take quite a while depending on the rule set and everything like that, right? But other than that, yeah, Yahtzee would probably be... Or Yahtzee Monopoly would be another good one. Like, there's definitely options. I'll, uh... To... Today's, what, Thursday? So to, tonight or tomorrow, I'll post in Discord the list of games that we're gonna play. So if you guys have any other ideas, let me know before then. And then, uh... Like, let me know before the end of the stream. And yeah, I'll pick out a... I'll pick out a couple and post them in Discord. That way, anybody who does want to play along and uh, needs to pick up any of the games can do so before the actual stream starts on Saturday and, and just to have a little bit of time to pick them up or whatever. Um, another thing that I want to do at some point is play like longer RTS games with y'all, like uh, Civilization and stuff like that. I don't know if anyone here other than myself is into those sorts of games. But I fucking love them. And I just never get to play them because myself and uh, OptiJack are the only two people I know that, that play them. And neither one of us really have time to ever play through them. So, like, yeah. One of these community, community days will probably do, like, an RTS special where we just play RTS games for the day. <laughs> TBH. You like RTS games too? Dope, man. Yeah, like, uh, Civilization is, like, my go-to, but we could also do, like, Command & Conquer or something as well. So, I mean, Command & Conquer is a lot of fun. Who doesn't like a little bit of a CNC in their life? Uh, 
I'm focused. I'm like so fucking focused right now. After I fucking missed that jump. <laughs> you just found it for free? Dope, dude. Yeah, no, so that's another decent option then. Yahtzee. So preliminary, this is this could change. But preliminary games, I'm thinking. Um You did not just make that fun. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I am a uh, innocent little angel flower baby whatever and uh, I have no idea what pun I could have possibly made there Nate uh, but anyways <laughs> uh, yeah preliminary preliminary will be uh, Yahtzee GeoGuessr and golf with your friends right there there may be more it may change or whatever we'll uh, we'll pick that for sure and put it in discord tonight um, fuck, dude. I was hoping to be able to get that last butterfly right there. Uh, that one's hard. That one's hard. But yeah, golf with your friends, Yahtzee, and GeoGuessr. So the only one that actually costs anything then would be golf with your friends. Um, let me check and see what that runs for on Twitch. Or on Twitch? On Steam right now. Golf with... Oh, that's... Right, they changed the name of it at some point, didn't they? It used to be like golf with friends and then they change it with your friend. I don't remember. So right now it's $15. So not the cheapest game in the world. But uh, it's a lot of fun if you like mini golf. And it has like community levels and shit like that included too. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I guess save. It's not like we really did anything. We got a personal best, but we didn't even really finish the level. Oh, and Phasmophobia. I forgot. Phasmophobia. That's one that, that Rue has. So we could do at least two or three people in Phasmophobia. Um, we usually do, what, four hours on Saturdays? So we will we could try like an hour per game, give or take, right? We could do a couple rounds of GeoGuessr, a couple rounds of Golf With Your Friends, a couple rounds of uh, Yahtzee, and then a couple rounds of Phasmophobia. There we go. We'll, we'll try to do those four. So, yeah. If, it, if any of you are interested in any of those ones, those are the games that I would pick up. But I will put the list for sure in Discord uh, tonight after the stream. Which, I don't want to do this, but might have to end a little bit early. My stomach has been not agreeing with me <laughs> uh, today. It, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I can feel I can feel it starting to rumble a little bit, which uh, isn't great. I forgot to read what the hell we were doing. I'm assuming it has something to do with this fly here, right? Uh. So no start the bathroom. It. I don't know how long it'll take you, Noodle. That's up to you. Wait, do I want to keep the fly or do I want to get rid of the fly? I'm confused here. What pun? What did I miss? I don't know, man. You'll have to talk to Nate. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm confused. Do I want to keep the fly? I think I want to keep the fly as long as possible. I was actually trying to, like, give it away, but... No, I think, I think we want to keep it. All I said was that we could play... Yeah, Command and Conquer, man. We can play some Command and Conquer, CNC. Who doesn't like a little bit of CNC in their life? That's all I said. I don't know what Nate's talking about. And uh, anybody who thinks that it's not Command and Conquer, well, that's on them, really. I, I have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Never heard of it? See? See, Nate? It's just you. This is this is all on you, bud. <laughs> uh, I would like your fly, please. How, like, does it not like shoot ahead like it doesn't leave the target whenever you're locked on which is annoying as hell command and conquer guys it's a series of video games you can look it up nate's just uh nate's just got a dirty mind i don't know what to tell you <laughs> yes he did you're literally putting words in my mouth this is gaslighting uh all i did was talk about a video game a series of video games. A series of real-time strategy games.
You're right. If you search for CNC, it'll probably be a CNC mill. I didn't think about that. Yeah. CNC mill would probably be the one thing to pop up. But if you search for CNC game, I bet you that's what would come up. CNC, yeah. Command and Conquer Online, man. See? It's right there. Coming from the man that has tits as an acronym. Yeah, T.I.T.S, though. Like, come on, man. <laughs> We're all adults here. I didn't pick the name Tits because I think it's funny. It just so happened to, you know, work out that way. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, let's try going up to the Advanced League, I guess. We'll try just the race. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to fucking do tra training. Reasons why this stream will continue to be mature. Yeah. Because I gave up on the whole PG thing, man. It just wasn't worth it. Like, <laughs> like, whenever I decide to to officially turn this into a business, if I ever decide to do so, then maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try to go back to being PG or whatever. But in the meantime, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> man, fuck PG. We ain't here for no little shits. You're right. We're only here for the big shits, man. Not that little shit. <laughs> oh God. No, no, no offense to the littles out there, though. You do you. Ah, uh, what? No! I didn't know that would raise the bridge. Well, that's some bullshit. Wait, I hit both. I guess hitting both doesn't do anything different, just as hitting one. It's nice that they have this training thing, but, like... Is it really that useful, though? Ooh. Okay, so is this any faster than just... Because there's, there's the speed pads going the other way, right? So I imagine that would be faster than swinging from one of those to the next. Oh, that's how you do it. You don't hit square, you hold square. That helps. That's good to know. Honestly, with that one newer law, it's probably best to not seem as going for children as the target audience. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would never try to pander to children. But uh, the thing is, whenever you're flagged as 18 plus, though, that's different than pandering to children, right? Because when you're flagged as 18 plus, you, on most platforms, uh, appear in less search results. As well as uh, on YouTube, you lose monetization rights, shit like that. Um, and that's why I wanted to be PG-ish for the most part. It wasn't so much to do with trying to make content for children or pander to children as it was just I would like to be able to monetize my stuff if uh, that ever comes up on YouTube. And then on Twitch, I would like to be able to be seen. <laughs> That's all. I don't know how, like, I'm no expert on Twitch, though. I don't think Twitch hides 18 plus streams as much as other people might. And honestly, I don't think you need to be marked as mature on Twitch just for language. Um, I think it has more to do with, like, on-screen content. But again, I'm no, I'm no Twitch expert. I don't know the rules that well for what's considered 18 plus and what doesn't. Basically, if children are your target audience, you have to be careful merchandising and all. Yeah, well, I mean, that's always been the case. It's not actually that it's a newer law. It's just that it's being enforced more now. Um, like, there's very strict advertising laws to children. Um, things like that. I, I don't... I don't know, whatever. Uh, come on, you who your fucking self. Okay, let's stop this. Let's go back to level selection and do an actual race or something real quick. Get get at least one more race in before we call it a night. Hey, new course record. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, dude. I think we're gonna go to the next level, like. Because even though that one was just training mode, we saw the level. 
All right, we went through it like three times or whatever. Let's do Water Canyon. Why not, man? Still think parents should be monitoring their children instead of having YouTube and Twitch babysit for them, but that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's true. But, like, and children's stuff is huge on YouTube. I hate to admit it, man. Like, it, it's fucking massive on YouTube, right? As part of the Just One More Level podcast, the Dorseman and I have done uh, games that are... The episodes by no means were meant for children, but the games themselves were meant for children. Stuff like, uh... Uh... Dra what? Why didn't I grab it? I thought I thought I had figured it out. Stuff like uh, Dragon Tales, for instance. That's like our top episode by a lot on uh, on Twit on YouTube. And honestly, it's not like that good of an episode. I think the reason why is because, like Rue said, people just let Twitch or YouTube babysit their children for them. So they get on youtube and start watching like dragon tales videos or whatever and then our podcast episode shows up right and so then it gets watched and that happens like constantly is what i'm assuming is happening i don't really know for sure why it got so many hits that's the only thing i can think of but like that spongebob um uh oh there's more but i just can't think of them off the top of my head point is it's it's that kind of content that gets the most views at least for us on on youtube and uh i imagine it's the same for a lot of other creators and that's probably why they so many people do pander to children on youtube you know and then you have stuff like ryan's world where it's a child making children's content and that kid's huge on youtube as dumb as it is to me and probably to you like you can't deny the fact that that dude's making bank. Well, for his parents, he's too young to be making any of that money. Child exploitation at its best, ma'am. It's fine, though. It's legal. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, the difficulty definitely went up a little bit. Final out. That was some shitty-ass geometry right there. Yep, it's stupid. It is. It's real dumb, but it is the way it is, man. And like, yeah, like I said, we don't even try to make content for children. Not even close. But we still get our most hits on stuff that it's probably children watching. I mean, like, and on the podcast, we don't try. We try not to curse too much or anything like that. Right? We're, we're relatively PG on the podcast most of the time. But we're not always. And we're not, like, exclusively covering children's shit. It's just... Seems to, uh, seems to get a lot of hits, though. As long as there's profit to make, your child suffers for viewers. For views. Yeah, man, I feel sorry for all, like, the lifestyle bloggers and whatnot that pull their children into it. Because, uh, there have been some studies and whatnot that show, like, how that's not very good for children to grow up with an audience like that and to be basically to be taught that like doing ridiculous thing things for attention um is a good thing and and will make you money and stuff like that like it's uh there's just been studies that show like that's not very healthy and uh i can't imagine it being very healthy same with like just being a child movie star or whatever right like i can't imagine that being a healthy way to grow up and on YouTube, that's become a very popular thing for a lot of people is to have family vlogs and family uh, channels and things like that. Where, again, they basically exploit their children for for views. And uh, it's shitty, man. But, uh, but the almighty dollar, you know? It's all that matters at the end of the day. Can it make me money? Whoops. Not to mention the abuse the kids went through so the parents would give views. Exactly, yeah. For real. And I mean, and there's certainly some family vloggers and channels and things like that 
that, you know, treat their children very well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all family vloggers are, are terrible people or anything like that. Um, not, not at all. But there definitely are some that are shit. And whether or not you're a, a good parent, um, you know, not just a shit person, I don't think would change the fact that your kid growing up in that environment just isn't the healthiest way for them to for them to grow up. Man, that one just doesn't work, does it? Like, that swing right there. That's the second time we've had that one fail us. <laughs> Let's go. Second place. We can make it. Gonna be first in no time, boys. Let's go. Yes. Fucking go for it. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Jump, Rayman. Jump. Jump for your fucking life. Dream doesn't seem to mind them too much when he comes into the room. Oh, you mean like the ones that you watch or whatever? I said, I, I think they can be interesting to watch. You know, I totally understand why people watch them. But that doesn't change the fact that I don't think it's very healthy for the children that are being raised in that situation. Oh man, we're going to get second at best, aren't we? There's another jump pad there. I should have hit that. That probably would have helped a little bit. Good jump. Good jump. Let's go. Yes. Keep going. Keep up the momentum. Come on, boy. Let's go. How far ahead is he? He's all the way up there. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not going to catch up. Not at all. Fuck. <laughs> Second place. I mean, that's better than what we got last time, at least. You don't really think it's dumb to make kids content, just think the punishment and rules for it all is stupid? Yes, I know. Like, obviously, kids need stuff to watch, right? Like, especially if it's educational and things like that. I mean, you know, we all grew up with PBS and anime and all that shit. Like, making kids content isn't a bad thing. Um, but advertising directly to children is very predatory, right? Very predatory, be especially if it's done improperly. Because children have trouble understanding what is an ad and what is a TV show, right? The, the line between what's real and what's fake can be blurred very easily. So if you have the characters from a TV show, right? Imagine you're watching, uh, like when we grew up, we watched Dragon Ball Z or whatever, right? So imagine you're watching Dragon Ball Z and then it cuts to the ad break. And then Goku pops up and is telling you to go buy this $300 thing um, to help him save the world or whatever, you know, whatever sort of dramatic thing. Like, when it goes straight from the episode of Dragon Ball Z to Goku now telling you you need to buy this thing, to kids, they don't really understand that the difference between what was the show and what was the ad, it all blurs together, right? It's not, it's not good for them, and then they're going to go and bug the shit out of their parents and uh, tell them, like, hey, like, I need this thing, I need this thing, I need this thing, even if it's absolute trash, because that's the way it was advertised to them. So you should never um, advertise directly to children, period. And you also are required to, at least in America, you're required to and should have a clean and clear uh, separation between what is an advertisement, and, at least for children's content, what is an advertisement and what is part of the television show that needs to be extremely clear and where a lot of youtubers and and just content creators and shit in general got in trouble is they weren't doing those things right you had vloggers that were selling merch in the middle of their broadcast and directing it directly towards children like they they would admit and say that they pandered to 12 year olds and uh and and then they would turn around in that same episode and be like oh by the way now go buy all of our fucking merch dude so that we can make more episodes like this and shit like that like that's not good to do at all um and then yeah the whole the whole growing up in in a vlogging environment or or as a child movie star or whatever just it's just not good for you like
uh, I watch a few and I like them. She does. There's some really good ones you like. There's literally dad, this dad and this kid. They're super into Pokemon and such and just record their adventures and all. And that's why I said, like, I find a lot of the stuff really interesting. And I think, I think some of the stuff, like, I haven't read deep into the studies or anything like that. So, I mean, do your own research, look into it on your own and whatnot. But I think a lot of it, the negative effects could probably be mitigated by the type of content that's being made and also the parenting that is going on off screen, you know? Um, and if it's just a life vlog, I feel like that would probably be, and this is just me speculating. This isn't going off of any of the certain specific studies that I've read or anything like that. Um, but I feel like a life vlogger would probably be worse for their children than something like there's this one dude on TikTok that does a little mini podcast thing with his daughter, right? But like they do it in a room with a microphone in front of them, etc. They make this little cute, really cute little podcast thing that they go on, got going on with each other. It's very cute. I love the content. And if you set it up in that way, you know, like you, you do these ridiculous things, say these ridiculous things, uh, uh, d tell these stories for the camera. That's one thing. Whereas if it's just like a lifestyle vlog and you're being constantly pushing your children to do these uh, ridiculous things for views and, and shit all the time, then like that's that's a whole nother story you know whenever the camera is on and following you around 24 7 you never know when you're going to be on camera and when you're not like that it's just it could be a bit much man uh i also grew up in the early 2000s and back then kids content with stuff like go dio go go and big bear in the blue house um you also hate <laughs> you also hate it because of the different type of content i guess yeah oh yeah you remember shit like that very true very true guess you shouldn't say the rules so much as how easily you can end up in that category is stupid. I do agree with punishment for the predatory behavior. Yeah, well, and I mean, like, basically, um, I don't know. You kind of have to try and make content for kids to make content for kids, though, right? Like, you can be PG for the most part and not be making content for kids, you know? If you mention... Basically, all you have to do to not make content for kids is say you're not making content for kids, right? Like, there was some worry on YouTube for a little bit, I, I know, because of the way YouTube would potentially categorize things. But that wasn't so much the law side as it was people weren't sure how YouTube was gonna was gonna do it, right? Like, if you say that your content isn't geared towards kids and then don't pander towards towards kids then uh guess what you're not making content for kids right you can be pg that's fine but if you realize that a bunch of children are like i said with the podcast right we realize that a bunch of children are probably watching our episodes on uh games geared towards younger audiences so if we then turned around and started making nothing but podcast episodes on games made for kids right like uh big bear in the blue house or or uh, Dragon Tales or Arthur or some shit. If that's we turned around and we only made that content and then we didn't cuss in it at all and uh, we didn't talk about like any like sex or alcohol or anything else geared towards adults, then at that point, yeah, sure, you could be categorized as making content for children, even if you say you're not because you are purposefully pandering to that audience. But if you have PG content, but it's still like a variety of stuff where you sometimes talk about alcohol or you sometimes talk about sex and uh, you notice a trend with children watching certain content and you don't specifically try to make it or whatever, then then you're not, you know, you're not making kids content at that point. Um, obviously, I'm no lawyer. Don't take any of this as legal advice, blah, 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 blah. I'm just some dude that lives on the Internet and uh, talking about shit. But but yeah, that's that's. <laughs> That's how I've looked at it, at least. That's how I understand it. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. Guess you shouldn't say, oh, we already read that one. Uh, yeah, the one you like is just them having fun with Pokemon or going to the local game shop and all, but the kid is definitely has control on what he wants to do. That's cool, man. That's cool. And like I said, I'm not going to tell anybody what they, they should or shouldn't do. And, unless uh, the only people I'll tell off are the people who are literally forcing their kids to do this shit, right? Like, if you're forcing your kid to... Uh, to put on nicer clothes or or to uh to act all around the house all the way like if they're having a bad day and you tell them that they need to straighten up because you want to do a video or whatever like if you start doing shit like that 
then you're a shitty person, man. That's that easily. It's that simple, you know? Like, uh, if you're forcing your children into doing these things, that's shitty. But if your child has fun with it and you do it whenever they want to do it or, or whatever, then, yeah, I mean, whatever, man. Just, in my opinion, just make sure they know the difference between, like, the real world and, and making content. And because, I mean, at the end of the day, no matter how real you try to be on stream, you still put on a bit of a fake face for, well, stream, YouTube videos, whatever, you know? Like, if you're having a shitty day, you don't, you, you try to play it up like you're okay and whatnot. And, and not understanding, like, if you had to do that since you were a child and weren't taught that it's okay to not always act like you're okay, it's okay to admit when, when there's something wrong and to talk to people about that, like, not always put on that fake face. If you're not taught that, then that's not good for you. You know, that's not good for um, for your own personal mental health. And that's that's what worries me with stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, anyways, that's uh, that's that. That's that's all I really had to say about it. I uh, I'm going to end the stream here <laughs> on on a, on that note, you know, uh, <laughs> um, because I am having some non mental health issues at the moment uh, with my stomach. And I feel like I need to go to the bathroom and it's only 15 minutes early anyway. So I feel like it's a pretty t good time to do it. Plus, uh, I mean, honestly, this game isn't the best anyways. I feel like it'd be fun if I sat down with other people. You know, like if, if, if the four of us, five of us, whoever's here could all sit down and play the game together as a party game. Excuse me while I take a drink. And then I feel like that would be a lot of fun. But just playing through this game single player is kind of shit. Which is why I'm so happy that I have you guys to talk to and BS with while I play these shit games. <laughs> because otherwise, man, oh, it would be hard as hell. It would be rough. Well, in that case, night, guys. Good night, Rue. Thank you for hanging out with us for a little bit, man. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow night and then uh, again on Saturday for the community day. Which should be a lot of fun, honestly. I'm excited for GeoGuessr. I suck at GeoGuessr, but I think it'll be fun to uh, to, to sit down and, and play with some people. So, uh, as far as what time the community day will be, it'll just be the time that we normally stream, 5 to 9. Of course, my friend, and you shall indeed. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate it, Rue. You're the best. You're all the best. Nate, Rue, Noodle, anybody else who's just uh, here hanging out and... Uh, Watching the, the stream. I appreciate you all. Well, if nobody's got anything else, then I think it's time for us to sign off. Have a wonderful night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and remember, tits. <laughs>